marching through the mist, Ukrainian soldiers preparing for deployment. For five years, the residents of Mariupol have lived under the constant threat of conflict. Amid the election campaigns, the frustration, the exhaustion is palpable. I like any of the candidates, but not the one who is in power now. We need more authority for us to have peace, for our economy to grow, for us to be prosperous. Alexander Sidorov is on leave from the front line. The main issue for me is for all the corrupt people to be imprisoned. Alina Arabadze plans to vote for comedian-turned-presidential candidate Volodymyr Zelensky. Zelensky. Why Zelensky? Because it is a new face, because he has no vested interests. He hasn't been in politics a single day. The front lines of that war lie just six kilometers to the east. This is the road from Mariupol to Donetsk. There are a series of Ukrainian army checkpoints before you reach territory held by the Russian-backed separatists. At the height of the conflict, Ukraine feared those rebel forces would push on to try to take the city of Mariupol. Those fears may have subsided for now, but the war is having a huge effect on the daily life and the economy of this region. Mariupol used to be an export hub for the Donbass region. The conflict has cut off its mines and factories. Two giant steel plants still dominate Mariupol's skyline, bringing prosperity but also choking pollution. The products are shipped across the world from the nearby port. Since its forceful seizure of Crimea in 2014, Russia now controls shipping access to the Sea of Azov via the Kerch Strait. And that effectively gives it a stranglehold on a key artery of Mariupol's economy. The port director says he has lost over seven and a half million dollars a year in business. Starting in April 2018, Russia started to search all the ships which entered the Azov Sea to reach Ukrainian ports. Then after loading, they checked them again when they returned back to the Black Sea. The waiting time, the route time has increased, and it's had a great financial impact on our export clients. But there has been progress in some areas. The organization Halabuda began as a group of volunteers taking supplies to soldiers on the front line. It has now morphed into an advice group for residents and businesses. A question that concerns every single citizen of Ukraine is corruption. Compared to the corruption in law enforcement that we had five years ago, now, after the reforms, we nearly eradicated corruption on the level of the traffic police. Corruption and conflict. Generational challenges with no easy answers. The people of Mariupol are desperate for change, for the war to end. But they know that whoever becomes president the threat from the east is unlikely to end any time soon. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, Mariupol, Ukraine.